Hi everyone, thank you very much for joining our fourth session here at the Virtual, One, Virtual Assistance 101 Learning Series. My name is Janet Toral, and for this session, we're going to talk about uh, live chat support. Uh, live chat support is, um, although similar to call center support, but instead of uh, being engaged in a voice conversation, uh, what you're doing instead is chat is having a conversation with a prospect or client via live chat. So being that, being that the skills that are needed to be able to perform live chat support also includes data entry skills. You also need to have good communication and writing skills. You must have empathy and must be able to respond have the keen desire to resolve the matter and please the customer, no? especially in this scenario when there is no voice conversation involved. Uh, personally, I have used live chat services, especially for uh, with web hosting companies. On instances when my websites were encountering problems, I usually use uh, live chat support uh, to resolve those issues. Although in some cases, I've also called the phone support, so because sometimes they don't provide live chat support. No? And there's also the need for you to follow processes. For equipment, if you want to offer live chat support, of course, you need to have a computer, headset, fast internet. Um, you will also need communication tools so that your clients can contact you as necessary. And if, you're also, if your work will also include some form of voice chat, then you will also need a quiet workspace. For software, um, it depends on what your client is using. So whatever they are prescribing you, that is what you're going to use. Now, there are many sites that you can check out to apply for live chat support jobs. And we're going to look at each one of them in this discussion. All right. So same as always in the past sessions, uh, we've been re we're reviewing a lot of resources that you can check out. But before we check out the resources, let's start first on some tests that you can take. Uh, definitely for live chat support, although some of them are scripted, but in a lot of cases, you will also need to send your own replies to the person you're conversing with via live chat. So definitely having a good typing speed is very important. So improving your typing speed is not only for the purpose of data entry for transcription, but actually if you will also apply for a live chat support job, then you also need to have a, uh, a reasonable uh, typing speed. No? So for example, gusto natin um, applyan, gusto natin i-ano to, kaya kailangan dito sanay ka nang gamitin yung QWERTY na keyboard kasi pag hindi ka sanay sa kanya ah, magkakamali ka no? at napasin yun dito sa test na to, wala siyang backspace so ibig sabihin, pag nagkamali ka that's it so, so gagaya nito na nagsasalita ako habang nag-enter nag ako ng information o tinatype ko yung uh, inano ko dito, malaking factor yung familiar ako sa words, kung paano siya isa-spell. At uh, kahit hindi ako nakatingin sa keyboard, alam ko kung nasaan yung mga letters na yan sa keyboard. Uh, kapag halimbawa na sobra yung pag-type, most likely ina lumipad na yung isip ko at kung sa ano-ano na iniisip ko, kaya nagkaganon. Although kung tutusin, mahirap mag-type na nagsasalita ka. No? So actually, this... Uh, Typing test is very interesting. Oh, ano nangyari? Ah, okay. You're an octopus. Neat. You type with the speed of 59 words per minute at 98% accuracy. Oh, nice nice one, nice one. Okay, so pwede ko rin i-share yung aking score. Wag na. <laughs> Alright, pero uh, that's a cute test. no? So kung gusto nyo mag-take ng mga cute test na kagaya niyan, uh, pwede nyo siyang gamitin. Now, another site na pwede ka rin mag-take ng test ay itong live chat uh, challenge ng uh, live squad, help squad. Although I haven't tried um, the live, this uh, challenge uh, specifically, pero pwede nyo rin siyang i-take, lalo na kung gusto nyo magkaroon ng idea. So, spelling, grammar, typing skills, complete 
an exciting three-part trophy race. Nako, mukhang mapapalaban tayo dito. So, may freestyle spelling. And then, meron tayong grammar path. Okay? And then, you'll have 10 seconds to make a selection. Tapos, meron daw tayong typing. Okay? So, ano, sumukan ba natin? So, get ready. Tingnan natin kung anong meron. Ah, kailangan pa mag-login. Alright. Uh, dahil kulang tayo sa time, mukhang hindi natin siya magagawa ngayon. Dapat pala nag-login ako kanina. Pero I would suggest, um, being fam itong mga tools kasi ito eh, although fun siya, pero kung tutusin, it will give you an idea kung ano yung mga hinahanap nila. No? So as you can see here, uh, very important yung spelling, grammar, and typing. So hindi, hindi, hindi typing alone ang basis para kunin ka. Since nakikipag-chat ka, so ibig sabihin, lahat ng tinatype mo sa kid, lahat ng tinatype mo sa chat room, um, these are your thoughts, no? yung mga sagot mo. Kasi may mga script na pwede mong piliin at sagutin at yun ang ibabato mo as sagot. Pero meron times na may mga, ano ba tinanong niya, uh, how much is the plan? And then what will happen to my previous plan? And then, ang, ang script mo lang is what is the plan, pero walang sagot doon sa pangalawan niyang question. So, yung pangalawang question, kailangan, wala kang script na ready for that, pero you know the answer, dapat itype mo yung answer. Kaya hindi pwede papalpak-palpak ang iyong grammar no? when giving that answer. So, that is why uh, importante yung spelling, grammar, and typing. No? Kaya kung medyo nag kayo dun sa inyong uh, English speaking and writing skills, then kasama rin yan dapat sa ating review para maging comfortable tayo in offering uh, live chat uh, services. No? Um, actually, kapag nag-apply ka ng trabaho sa Upwork, uh, as JM mentioned last time, kapag nag add ka ng skills sa profile mo, pwede kang maghanap ng test. So, halimbawa, hinanap mo yung English language test. No? So, ang suggestion ko, mag-take kayo ng English language test. Note that yung mga test sa uh, Upwork, hindi siya necessarily mag appear sa profile mo unless you approve it. So, pwede mong kunin yung mga yan, English spelling test, US word usage test, Huwag ka matakot kasi pwede mo, may option ka naman na huwag siyang ipakita. Pero tandaan nyo, if you want to retake the test again, you will have to wait for 90 days to take the test again. So, pero kung gusto mo lang talagang masubukan kung nasaan ka na at nakikita mo makakaganda siya kung idadagdag mo siya sa profile mo, at least pa nag-apply ka ng trabaho, you can indicate that you have passed uh, upward. Ito yung mga nakuha mong scores sa upward ng mga test, no? So, there's the English spelling test, UK version, US word usage test. Um, pwede mo rin kunin yung um, English punctuation, punctuation and mechanics test. So, kahit na hindi mo na yung mga pang-writers, no? Pero kahit pa paano, magkaroon ka ng Ayan, pa parang kahit paano, masabi mo man lang na na verify, na, na, na test mo yung sarili mo. So at least yung UK in English spelling test, US word test, at saka itong punctuation, English punctuation and mechanics test. So I would suggest uh, taking those three para kahit paano, um, ma ano mo, ma-validate mo, kamusta na kaya grammar ko, kamusta na kaya English ko. I think it's okay naman, pero... Um, having it tested is will be very helpful. Uh, before, dahil nagkaroon kami ng opportunity pumunta ng Australia, nag-take ako ng IELTS test. No? Yung, yung IELTS, yung para sa mga gusto magpunta ng Australia. Uh, meron siyang speaking, may writing, at saka may listening. So, medyo nakakuha ko doon ng... 90 plus. Noong una, kinakabahan pa ako sa kanya eh. Pero I'm, I will tell you now, yung natutunan ko English sa high school, yun na nagpa-survive sa akin sa test na yun. At malaking factor din yung nagbablog ako lagi in English. So, nakakatulong siya kasi practice din siya. No? Kaya, if you really want to practice your English skills, especially if you want to apply for work in relation to live chat support where most of the communications happen, 
or or you or using the English language, then I would suggest that maybe you want to start writing in English, uh, practice it, do it more often, either through your social media conversations or through blogging. So personally, whenever I talk to people via social media, I would always by default use English because that's one way that you can constantly practice. Even when you send text messages, no, you can always use uh, English for that matter and communicate with friends that way. Although when I conduct this webinar, I am not as diligent in uh, using English because I want to be comfortable, especially with participants joining the sessions who are not yet that proficient in English. I hope that uh, this session will be helpful also uh, for you to understand its importance. So I would suggest uh, practice, 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 practice. Because this is a skill that can be learned. It's not something that you can say that it has to be inborn or must be inborn for you to be able to do it well. It's always through practice. So have friends, uh, engage, in, uh, engage in conversation with friends who are also trying to improve themselves in with their English, uh, English speaking and writing skills no? so that we will be able to... Uh, pass this pass these tests no so you can check out up upwork uh click on the link that i shared to you and uh you can take the test and of course with, with whatever grade you would receive as an outcome of the test you have the option of putting them on your upwork profile or just hide them and you can always retake the test after 90 days. Ideally, you would like to take tests that are aligned to your profile, to the services that you're offering. So, ano yung mga important tests na kukunin nyo? So, nandyan yung English language. I think, by default, important siya. Um, you can also take the Upwork test. <clears throat> the Upwork test uh, also shows that you're ready uh, to transact using the platform because you're very familiar as to what are the policies inside the platform. And it's a way for you to also uh, more or less validate na, okay, naiintindihan ko how to do business in Upwork at mukhang hindi naman ako mapapahamak dyan o hindi ako masususpend dahil familiar ako dun sa regulation na meron yung platform. Alright? So, I hope you can uh, use that as well. So other things that you may need to be familiar with, especially if you're going to engage in live chat, um, you can you can um, start by participating in live chat conversations. But if you're doing live chat for the first time, it may be good to be familiar on how live chat works. So for example, marami kayong mga makikitang um, live chat uh, scripts online that will give you an idea on how do people uh, chat, no? So, kadalasan, mga ano naman to eh, um, scripted na siya. So, meaning hindi mo to itatype isa-isa. Although in certain cases, um, pwedeng walang ganyan yung client mo at talagang manual mo siyang gagawin. No? Especially kung ang ginagamit mo ay Facebook as your live chat platform. Because you can have uh, a chat box on your website, pero when people are conversing with you, pwedeng sa Facebook uh, messenger siya lalabas. So, you need to be able to configure them. So, pwede kayong mag-review dito. Tingnan nyo kung ano yung mga sinasabi nila, pag-aralan pag nyo, uh, para mag masanay rin kayo. In fact, you can also, I would suggest uh, when reviewing this, you can read it aloud so that para makita nyo rin kung how, how it is said, how does it sound when when you say it at ma-reconcile mo rin siya kapag ginagawa mo siya in a in in live chat format or in text format. May mga suggestions din dito like for example, if you don't know the answer rather than saying I don't know, you can say that is a good question, let me find out or you can say I'm not sure but let me find out for you. Or meron din dito, I'm sorry, I don't have the information on that. May I put you on hold for a few minutes? I will clarify this with our manager. Or kung, or kung talagang wala kang manager na mapagtatanungan, you can say that I can send you an email about this. Or ito, may mga iba't iba siyang suggestions. So magandang familiar kayo sa kanya kasi um, kung mag-a-apply ka, kapos i-interviewin ka, and then 
tanungin ka, bigyan ka ng scenario. What if you don't know the answer? What are you going to say? So at least alam nyo kung ano yung mga common na binibigay na sagot at uh, hindi kayo ma-at loss. No? Okay, so marami kayong mga makikita rito suggestions to help you get started. Uh, meron ding mga other scripting formats. Um, ito rin, no? Kung yung mga deadly sins na dapat iwasan kapag nakikipag-live chat para huwag ma-offend yung ka-live chat mo. You can also see it here, like using canned responses which don't answer the question. Like dito ang tanong do sa live chat, can you tell me how much and whether I can keep my old phone? Sinabi niya yung sagot, pero hindi niya sinabi kung whether she, Kyle can keep yung kanyang old phone. So, kaya ang sagot niya kagad, an anong sagot mo sa akin? Robot ka ba? No? So, magta magtataka siya. No? Kailangan kasi, may mga tao kasi na kaya ayaw makipag-live chat kasi feeling nga nila robot yung kausap nila. So, although... Um, in a sense, pwedeng may mga scripted answers ka, pero may mga answers na kailangan, meron talagang taong sasagot. Okay? Uh, minsan din, I'm sure you've experienced this, you may tiyanong ka, kapos yung binigay sa yung sagot, hindi match dun sa tiyanong mo. So, make sure na um, kung bibigyan ka ng test, na bibigyan ka ng question, tapos pamimili ka ng sagot, kailangan basahin mo talaga siya at naintindihan mo siya para makita mo kung ano yung tamang sagot na ibibigay, no? Um, and then, ganun din, no? Can, or the can messages are just plain terrible. So, so, ito, itong ganito, alibaba, I want to close my account. Nagkaroon ako ng ganitong experience, eh. I wanted to close my account sa isang live chat service kasi I, I have three subscriptions at that time. So, meron yata akong click this, meron akong Zopim, and then I have another one, and then after a while, I have to let go of some of the accounts. So, kaya yun, may mga accounts akong binitawan, so kailangan ko siyang i-close. So, ito ang mga kadalasang makikita mo. I am sorry to hear you would like to close your account. No? Kapos, I will certainly help you. Kapos, biglang may ganito. So, ito, hindi ito maganda kasi parang, parang, nagmukha ka talagang robot lang, no? Tutulungan mo ako, kapos bigla mo sasabihin na hindi mo pala siya mare-resolve, no? So, ang, kaya kailangan dito, mas, ano mo siya, mas pagplanuhan mo siya, para, lalo na kung kayo, kung yung work nyo, yung project na makukuha mo, ikaw mismo yung magsiset up ng mga live chat uh, scripts para sa kanya. Alright? Um, this is another one na pwede nyo i-check. So, ito kapag gusto nyo kung ang trabaho nyo also includes uh, setting up the live chat script. So, ito maganda rin siya. Like, ano yung mga suggestions ng mga greetings, including repeat visitors. Um, yeah, you need to mention that calls might be recorded. If you cannot uh, address the each the issue, um, you have to apologize. If you if you're receiving a complaint, you have to recognize the agony the person is experiencing. Uh, kasi kailangan mo paramdam mo nga na meron kang empathy, and then you can if you know the solution, then you have to give the solution. That's why you need to be familiar kung sino yung client mo, anong platform niya, at uh, ready ka magbigay ng assistance. You can also provide uh, additional contact details. In some cases, of course, my experience mo yung para may nagmumura, no? Isang talaga hindi maiiwasan yan. So, kaya kailangan, tandaan nyo na whatever sentiments the person on the other part of the chat room is experiencing uh, or is expressing, don't take it personally kasi alam naman natin na na talagang may complaint lang siya no na kailangan nating i-address no so halimbawa kung ganito yung uh, gusto yung gawin no uh, one of the things din na pwedeng yung i-check um lalo na kung gusto niyo mag-practice 
Maganda sana kung meron kayong website, no? Tapos pwede kayong maglagay ng live chat platform doon. Tapos pwede yung subukan yung mga features, no? So, for example, uh, personally ako, nung mag-start ako sa live chat, ang ginagamit ko noon ay si clickdesk.com. Uh, so, si clickdesk, uh, you can be you can be with several persons. So, pwede yung person makipag-live chat sa'yo. Pwede rin siyang makipag-web chat. Um, tapos, meron din siyang help desk. So, medyo three-in-one na siya, no? So, may tanong, pwede siyang, pwede siyang mag-submit ng support request, pwede dyan mo na siya manage in one dashboard. Actually, kaya ko lang siya binitawan was, uh, I started to use another, I started using another platform, si Zopim.com. Um, kaya naman ako lumipat kay Zopim.com because at that time, si ClickDes, I'm not so sure kung meron na siya, no? Pero at that time, si ClickDes, wala siyang mobile support, wala siyang mobile app. Eh, ang concern ko, wala akong time na palagi akong nasa PC o nasa Mac ko para to answer uh, live chat concerns. So, that's why I started using um, Zendes uh, chat on my websites. Ang maganda sa ganitong, sa ganitong live chat service, o ngayon meron na siyang mobile app ko. So, kaya pag-iisipan ko na naman, baka lumipat ako pabalik ng click this. So, ang bayad sa kanya per seat. So, ibig sabihin ng per seat, depende kung ilan kayong uh, nasa team. Ganun usually ang kanilang pricing mechanics. Pero kung, pero ang maganda naman sa ClickDesk, kagaya nito, meron siyang free for 10 users. Ang challenge mo lang, kapag ginamit mo yung free, kahit na good siya for 10 users, um, alam tawag dito? hindi mo nakikita yung email address. No? So, parang yung information na kailangan mo para makapag-follow through ka, hindi mo magagawa. So, kapos, halimbawa itong free na to, bigla ka nag-decide na paid. No? Ayan, yun ang babayaran mo. Magiging $150 per month kagad yung babayaran mo. But, but, kung, kung mag-offer ka ng live chat service at gagawin mo siya as a business, okay din siya. Like, for example, Um, nung time nung time na active ako sa live chat kasi medyo there was a time na in love ako sa mga live chat na services no uh, ang ginawa ko yata noon kumuha ako ng isang account tapos ilang agents tapos in start ko siyang i-offer as a service kasi pwede mong ipa-embed yung live chat widget sa mga websites ng ibang tao kasi whenever someone chats with you it will show you which site they are from so halimbawa ako I have mga six six websites na nagyan ko ng live chat widget. So, kung nag inquire siya about influencer bootcamp, kaya kong sagutin yung tanong niya. Kung ang tanong niya tungkol sa e-commerce course, kaya kong sagutin yung tanong niya. Kung may nagtatanong in relation to an article na napublish sa digitalfilipino.com, I can also answer it among others. So, of course, if you own the business, madali yon. Pero what if ganyan yung situation mo na may mga iba't iba kang websites na paglalagyan. So, sa ganong situation, then doon nagiging importante yung um, uh, yung scenario na kailangan yung person na ilalagay mo, well-trained siya doon sa mga iba't ibang products and services para kaya niya sagutin at kailangan ready na, ready-made na yung mga scripts. no So, i-anticipate mo na what are the questions and uh, help your agent Uh, be in a capacity to answer the question. No? Kasi minsan, nandun na yung sagot. Alimbawa, may nagtanong, ano yung schedule? Nakalagay na naman siya doon sa website. Itatanong pa siya ng kachat. Tapos nagkataon yung agent mo dahil bago pa rin. Pwedeng hindi rin niya alam. No? So sasabihin niya, I don't know. Pero actually, nandun din sa live chat. Baka mamaya, tinetest lang siya nung kausap niya. So, kaya kailangan very, ano tayo dyan. So, yun nga lang, kapag nag-invest kayo sa mga ganitong klaseng services, uh, medyo mamumuhunan ka talaga. Pero kung nakikita nyo na uh, seryoso kayo at nakikita nyo pwede nyo siyang i-offer as a business, I think can be worth the investment. For example, kung ang gasos mo sa platform ay $15 per month and you're doing live chat support for a uh, website, lalagyan mo siya ng one chat widget with an agent assigned. So, pwede kang mag-charge. Like, kanimbawa, you're charging like... Um, 
Halimbawa, nag-handle ka ng social media marketing niya. Maybe you're charging uh, 30,000 or 40,000 pesos per month. Then, pwede mo nalagyan din ng live chat support yung website niya para lahat ng tanong, ikaw na rin sumasagot. So, it can be an added value na pwede mong ikabit as part of your service. Uh, si Sopim, okay din naman, pero kung tutusin, mas cute actually ang interface ni Clickdesk. Mas gusto ko yung interface niya. Pero, um, pero pagdating naman sa mga mobile app support, um, okay naman sa akin si Zopim din. So I guess it's best that you try kasi may mga demo naman sila. Um, maraming mga live chat platforms actually that you can use. So I would suggest researching, trying. It's good to have a website where you can add the code and experience it yourself so that you will understand the feeling of being a live chat uh, person. But of course, uh, your website needs to have traffic for people to live chat with you. no? Or otherwise, wala kang i-chat. Nakatunga nga ka lang nun sa website mo. So usually ako noon, pag nagpo- may pinopromote akong service, doon ako nag-login sa live chat para the possibility that people will be clicking on the link o kaya nag ako ng advertisement. So there's a possibility that people will click on the link because I run an ad. So, yun yung kailangan na naka-online sa live chat. Alright? So, i-close na natin siya, no? Okay. Um, I'm not sure kung na-share ko tong article na to. Hold on, ha? Provide support? Yes, share ko na rin siya. So, i-close na natin siya para wag bumagal yung ating machine. Okay, so let us look for opportunities where you can find uh, live chat uh, jobs. So one of the websites that you can check out to look for live chat uh, jobs would be helpsquad.com. So helpsquad.com is actually a site that offers live chat sales and support agents for a website. Kasi di ba, gaya nung napansin na banggit ko kanina, ako problema ko yan eh. Nag-subscribe ako sa Zopin, nilagay ko sa site ko, pero kung tutusin, halos hindi ako nakakapag-online na sa live chat. I just process all of the offline messages and send replies from the offline messages. So in this case, you can subscribe to services like Help Squad. Pa, ang ginagawa ng mga kagaya ko o, o yung mga companies na may website, pwede silang mag-subscribe to platforms like uh, Help Squad para merong iti-train na magiging tagasagot ng website. So, ito yung process niya. So, merong FAQ and messaging guide creation. So, kung may, kung may experience ka na, pwede yung gagawin mo to. Kung gusto mo tong i-offer na service as a client mo, like kalimbawa, nag-subscribe ka sa ClickDesk and then you want to start offering live chat services, then yung MSME mo naman o yung client mo, pwede yung walang alam sa live chat. So, p- pati yung paggawa ng messaging guide, ikaw ang uh, gagawa niya, no? Um, and then review and approval of squad strategy and full transparency and live feedback. Tapos meron silang 14-day trial. So sabi nila, di sila bots. No? Na, so ito yung kanilang ino-offer na service. Na as you can see here, uh, how much are they charging? They're charging $95 uh, per month for 25 unique engagements. No? So halimbawa, kung, kung meron akong less than... Um, 500 visitors a month o kaya meron akong possibility na magkakaroon ako ng 25 unique chat, chat engagements then yan ang babayaran ko o investan ko per month no? so mapapansin nyo so magkakaroon kayo na idea kung paano rin sila nag-charge and then how much how much can agents get paid for it kasi paano kung nag-chat lang kayo sinagot mo siya tapos na so baka hindi yun counted so Anyway, in case you want to work for live chat or with Help Squad, ito yung kanyang nakalagay dun sa footer. Interested in working for Help Squad? Email mo raw si job at helpsquad.com with a link to your unique to your LinkedIn profile. So, kailangan dito may maayos kang LinkedIn profile at ilagay mo na nag-offer ka ng live chat support o meron kang experience sa live chat support. Kaya kung wala ka pang experience sa live chat support, then you might want to create your own experience. Yun, pwede sa website mo, o kaya mag-create ka ng free account, and then mag-start ka mag-offer ng live chat trial services to businesses para magkaroon ka lang ng experience. 
At uh, in return for doing the service, pwedeng bigyan ka na ng testimonial para makapag-build ka ng credentials. No? And then of course, after the trial, you can charge them or you can use them as part of your portfolio experience para pag talaga nag-apply ka na ng trabaho for being uh, a live chat uh, support person, at least meron kang credentials na mapapakita. So that is uh, help squad dot com. Um, another site. Okay. Another site that you can also check out, lalo na kung gusto mo mag-apply for uh, live chat support, I see working solutions uh, dot com. Although si working solutions dot com. Um, ang kung gusto mong kung gusto mo maghanap ng work opportunity sa kanya, pupunta ka sa jobs.workingsolutions.com. No? So, ito siya. Kapag maghanap ka na ng project na meron sila. Pero mapapansin nyo, ang ginagawa nila, um, ano sila eh? Call center outsourcing. So, yun ang kanilang trabaho. Okay, so home-based uh, call center solution siya. So they do customer care, um, yan, customer experience service. So if you want to work from home at nagpunta ka sa jobs.workingsolutions.com, ayan, meron silang mga work-at-home jobs. Okay. So, kaya lang, yun nga lang, um, para makapagano ka, kailangan mo mag-create ng profile. Alright? So, piklik mo yan, and then you can start creating a profile. So, ang suggestion ko, um, be, take the necessary preparations bago kayo mag-apply. Huwag kayong mag-apply for the sake of applying, kapos hindi na makita yan lang, ay may nag-apply, pero hindi naman qualified. Like, for example, in my case, I made a call for trainers for our World Impact Sourcing Technical Training. And misa may mga nakikita ko nag apply na parang nag-fill up lang ng form for the sake of filling up the form. Pero pag ni-review mo yung credentials niya, parang kahit siya mismo alam niya na wala siyang enough credentials para mag-apply doon. Kasi kita mo rin, pati yung pag-submit ng information, parang half-hearted, no? Yung, um, alibaba, kailangan ko ng teaching demo, walang pinigay na teaching demo. Hindi man na nag-effort na i-articulate yung kanyang teaching skills o kaya yung kanyang experience. Uh, like, halimbawa, naghahanap din ako ng BA trainer, yung pwede magturo ng virtual assistance uh, na skills. So, pag ganun, automatic, hindi ko napapansinin yun. No? I might not even bother connecting with that person kasi parang pakiramdam ko, hindi siya seryoso. At saka para sinayang niya yung time niya, parang sinayang niya rin yung time nung, nung pinag-applyan niya para kapas hindi naman pala siya disinigo sa kanyang pag-apply. So, ang suggestion ko sa inyo, mag-apply kayo kapag talagang ready na kayo. Alright? So, that's uh, working solutions. Okay? And then... Um, actually, may website na indeed.com.ph. I noticed sa uh, indeed.com.ph, uh, meron din kayong mga makikitang um, live chat jobs. Pero hindi ko nga lang masasabi kung siya ay work from home. Okay? Although meron dito mga remote naka-indicate. No? So, halimbawa, itong happiness engineer remote. Ano yata ito eh? Sa WordPress. So, tagasagot ka ng mga... Um, tanong no dun sa mga may tanong tungkol dun sa WordPress no so marami kayong mga makikita rito na chat support uh, type of work so i would encourage that you also check it out para makita niyo rin kung ano yung mga hinahanap nila may indication din kung ano yung salary para at least alam niyo kung o oh, ano yung rate no pwede kasi per ticket siya or uh, fixed rate siya, pero meron kang kota in terms of number of people na dapat makausap mo. Alright? Of course, if you have questions at any time, 
all you need to do is press that, um, type your questions using the chat box. At, uh, and we'll answer, no? Another site that you can also look, that you can also visit to look for live chat work is uh, flexjobs.com. Uh, so itong mga pinili natin as much as possible, wala dapat siyang restrictions. Although may mga jobs na kailangan may may certain location siya. No? So, checking nyo na lang kung ano yung mga locations. Pero, kahit siguro hindi kayo mag-qualify, pero kung makita nyo na magkaroon lang kayo ng, fam ng familiarity kung ano yung mga hinahanap na skills, para kayo rin, if you want to prepare, para kung mag apply kayo na in the future, at least mas ano kayo, ready kayo. Pero ang suggestion ko, kung wala kayong experience, Huwag niyong kalimutan yung pag-take ng test. Yung kagaya nung inano ko kanina, yung sa Upwork. Definitely, um, you need some form of test para ma-demonstrate mo yung yung English skills, whether nag apply ka for data entry, um, audio or video transcription, or live chat support. You, you need to be able to demonstrate that you have sufficient um, English speaking and writing skills. Well, in this case, English writing skills, good enough para makaano ka sa chat o magawa mo yung trabaho mo for data entry or transcription. Alright? So that is uh, flex jobs. Another site that you can also check out is si the chat shop .com. Okay? So si the chat shop so, identify and engage with website visitors who are not ready to take the next step on their own. Actually, interesting yan, no? Kasi I remember, nagkaroon ako ng student before sa certified e-commerce professional program namin na nag-iwan siya ng message sa live chat. Tapos, sinagot ko naman siya. At pagkasagot ko sa kanya, siguro within one hour, nag-process na siya ng enrollment. At nung nagkita na kami sa class, Sabi niya, buti na lang daw sinagot ko siya kagad. Kasi kung hindi ko siya nasagot kagad, baka hindi raw siya nag-enroll. So, yun yung sinasabi natin na minsan, yung person, ready na bumili, ready na mag-commit. Kaya lang, kailangan lang niya ng someone right there and there na, kailang, na ready magbigay na sagot. Yun ang importance ng mga live chat uh, persons. Especially for high-value transactions where um, decisions are... Parang a lot of thought and sometimes questions need to be answered before you can make a decision. No? Kaya nga nung gumagamit ako ng website, ano nga ba yun? Yung, I don't know if you're familiar with coins.ph. So there was a time nag-create ako ng account ng coins. I have an account with coins.ph because of yung mga Bitcoin na uh, trading. No? And may times na magpo-post ako ng question kasi bakala ko merong chat. Pero may experience naman ako nakakasagot kagad. Pero may experience ako na hindi kagad nakakasagot kasi walang agent na available. Pero parang hindi siya ganun ka-clear sa akin. Kaya importante sa mga live chat tools yung clearly communicating whether the person is there uh, or uh, available ba siya o hindi siya available. No? So, ano, so si the chat shop, ano ang ginagawa niya? So meron siyang for sales, generate more business from the website. So ibig sabihin help the person, like kalimbawa may binibentang product nun sa website, isa-chat niya yung person para masagot niya lahat ng tanong niya para yung person na yun bumili. Or customer service, whether like the person having problems sa isang uh, product or service na na-avail niya. No? So yan si the chat shop. Now, kung gusto mo mag-work sa the chat shop, pwede ka mag-join sa kanilang uh, live chat agent and or become a live chat agent so ito yung kanilang site so if you love interacting with people then pwede kang maku-work sa kanila so meron daw silang training so inarticulate nila dito na meron silang uh, training okay and then pero clear to ah typing speed of at least 80 words per minute error free Okay, so malinaw yan ha. So ibig sabihin, kung wala kang typing speed right now ng 80 words per minute na 100% accuracy, 
huwag ka mag-apply. Kasi alam mo kagad na hindi ka matatanggap. Okay? So, so, ayan, kung gusto mo, so, kung gusto nyo itake yung kanilang test para dun sa 80 words per minute na test, meron din silang nirefer na isang website dito na pwede mo raw i-check para mag-take ng test for speed. Alright? Kung ano yung mga nire-recommend nila, maganda sinecheck yun. Kasi baka mamaya, yun lang din pala ang gamitin sa'yo. <laughs> Okay, so although nagigil na dito, consistently type 65 to 75 words per minute in perfect punctuation, grammar, and spelling. Can carry out 3 to 4 conversations concurrently. Actually, sa, sa, sa Zopim at saka sa Clickdesk, pwede kasing tatlo hanggang limang tao yung nakikipag-chat sa'yo sabay-sabay. So, dahil live chat siya, so kailangan... Kaya mo sagutin. Parang, parang, parang kung, kung sanay ka makipag-chat ng maraming tao sa Facebook Messenger, parang ganun lang siya. No? So, nakikipag-usap ka with so many people at the same time through Viber. So, parang ganun lang siya. Grade A problem solving. Okay. Self-discipline, dependable, and you must be a team player. Alright? So, ay, sorry. Iba, pala na, iba na pala yung tinignan natin. So, ito, si Dive Chat. Okay, so 35 to 40 hours per week. So kung gusto nyo mag-apply dyan, you can check the site out. Alright? Another site that you can check, I see sitestaff.com. Tanggalin natin yun. So si sitestaff.com. Um, so it's also a live chat software and full service uh, hosting. Okay, so yun yung kanilang service, yun ang kanilang ino-offer. So pag kinik natin yung about, ano makikita natin sa about niya? Okay. Hindi ko alam kung na-load ko ba siya ng maayos kanina. So let me just load it. Okay. So live chat for elite businesses offering specialized services. Okay, so yun ang live chat. Now, if you want to become a chat host, meron silang page para dun sa mga gusto mag-apply. So, ito yung kanilang link. So, what is a chat host? Um, so, yun, nakikipag-chat. Ito, 65 words to 75 words per minute. Perfect punctuation, grammar, and spelling can carry out three to four conversations at a time. Okay, yung problem solving, empathy-driven work ethic, no? team player. So, if you're interested in applying, hindi to ka. But make sure na kayo ay sanay ng gumamit ng chat platforms bago tayo nag apply Alright? So, yan si site staff. Then, there's also another site called uh, needle.com. Uh, so, si Needle.com, medyo kakaiba siya, no? So, move e-commerce shoppers from browse to buy with real advice from real brand advocates. Okay? So, merong brand advocate na makakachat yung person para tulungan siya na, para itulungan yung taong yun para makamove dun sa kanyang per purchase. So, Kung gusto mong mag-apply na ikaw yung makakachat ng mga customers and help them find the right products, then you can use this. Pero ito, instead na makakuha ka ng payment in cash, makakakuha ka ng payment in terms of uh, points, no? shopping points. So I think okay siya, especially kung nagpa-practice ka. No? Yun nga lang, para maging effective ka rito, kailangan may certain familiarity ka on certain products. But as they said here, they review the profiles and approve the most qualified candidates to become needlers. So, kailangan i-check ka rin nila. So, kailangan ma-demonstrate mo na may certain expertise ka on certain product categories para maging needler ka for that. Okay? So, yan si needle. Okay, needle.com. And then there's another site called uh, Live World. 
Okay. Sige. Accept. Although si Live World medyo limited siya, no? Pero for the sake of discussion, I think you can also check them out. So... Meron silang careers sa live world para doon sa mga conversant. Although, tapos pwede kang mag-apply for live world moder- moderation personnel for non-US residents. So, dapat ano ka, sanay ka sa online moderation or customer service. Kasi pag tingnan mo yung mga na- nasa live chat ng work, technically parang community management yung trabaho nila eh. Kasi yung mga kachat mo, members ng community eh. So, in this case, parang pwede kang, parang magmo-moderate ka ng community. So, pwede kang chat, pwede kang sumagot sa email, tapos, uh, pwede kang sumagot sa forums, or through private messaging. So, technically, yan yung ginagawa nung, nung uh, person na to para sa kanila. So, yung customer service agent nila, parang live chat support na siya, email chat support. Tapos, pwede rin siyang forum, forum support. Okay? So, so interesting yung kanyang re- requirements. Tapos, at the same time, tumatanggap sila kahit na non-US resident. Alright? So, you can check that out. And then, um, another site that you can also check out for live chat support, but at the same time, pwede rin siyang pang community moderator, I see Mod Squad. Okay? So, um, tignan muna natin kung sino si Mod Squad. Okay, puto tayo kay Mod Squad. Dahil yung link ko pala ay ano na kagad, para doon sa job opening. So, si Mod Squad technically is uh, outsourcing ng digital engagement. So, as you can see, you can outsource uh, moderation ng community. Alright? So, yan. So, pwedeng mag-moderate siya ng community mo. O kaya pwede rin siyang pang-customer support. Okay? Pang-manage din ng community. Yung moderation, pwedeng yan kapag mga live chat events, kung i-approve ba, o kung may mga topics, yung mga magugulot, meeting, niyatanggal. <laughs> okay, so, technically, anything, any conversation or any discussion, anything na merong connection sa engagement, uh, that is what they do. Alright? Tapos yung mga moderators sila are from different parts of the world. Alright? Now, kung gusto mong maging mod, then, meron silang link dito na join the mods. Okay? So, kung gusto mo maging moderator, yan, tanggalin natin yung excess na code. Okay? So, yan siya. Um, so, moderating forums, chatting with customers, managing communities, buzzing in social media. Okay? So, yan yung parang mga iba't ibang ginagawa ng mga mods. Alright. So, maganda to kung sanay ka na mag-manage din ng Facebook group at saka active ka mag-post ng content. So, at, at saka sanay ka mag, um, mag-post na that will encourage people to participate in a conversation. So, yan. Yan yung pwede mong, pwede mong pasukan siya, no? At, uh, it's something that you might want to venture into. Lalo na kung experience ka na sa pag-handle ng mga communities. So, Mod Squad, maybe for you. Alright? And then, of course, marami rin mga live chat agent jobs that you can check out sa mga sites kagaya ng Glassdoor. So, meron tayo dito mga nakitang work na pasok sa live chat service. Although yung iba dito, parang customer care at saka customer service siya, no? So, pwede live chat siya, pero yun ang ginagawa niya. Pero if you want to be more specific na live chat, meron din tayo nakita dito sa glass door. Uh, medyo nag-mix-mix din siya, pero hindi necessarily uh, work-from-home job siya. But if you will visit and check it out, 
um, baka may makita rin naman kayo na work from home. Alright? So, again, no, I just want to indicate na if you want to venture into uh, live chat work, um, of course, you need to have the equipment. And then at the same time, English skills will really play a lot. You know? Data entry speed, spelling, grammar will play an important role here you know? para ma-hire ka. Kaya kailangan na improve mo siya and then one of the best ways to see kung ikaw ay nag improve is by taking tests. No? Huwag kayong maging reluctant in taking a test. Um, hindi lang naman sa um, Upwork ka pwede mag-take ng test. So halimbawa, pwede mong tignan dito, uh, English uh, test. So pwede kang mag-check. No? Yan, meron dito, test your English. Uh, marami kayong mga makikita ng mga English test. So, I would suggest uh, taking them. Wala namang mawawala sa inyo para makita nyo lang kung how are you doing with your English test. No? Um, actually, sa Rural Impact Sourcing Technical Training, ni-require namin yung mga participants as part of the screening process na mag-take ng English test. Um, kasi, kung, kasi kung hindi siya papasa sa English test, para bang yung objective na tulungan siya makakuha ng freelancer job. Yung having the skill will not be enough. Kasi parang preliminary requirement talaga yung kahit pa paano. Um, nakakapag, nakakapasa ka sa mga English test no, o communication test. So, I would suggest uh, checking these tests out and see how you do para kahit pa paano um, pwede kayong at least maging kampante kayo. Kung nakikita nyo na dapat nyo pa siyang improve, then you can work harder uh, in terms of improving them. Sabay-sabay yan, English, grammar, and your typing test. Alright? Um, kung marami na bang mga may trial, actually, a lot of the, tanong kasi ni Melissa, no? kung wala ba mga free trial no ng mga live chat uh, platforms so actually meron um, yung Zopi may libre siya tapos si Clickdesk meron din siyang libre so just uh, search for live chat software marami kayong mga makikita ang mga live chat na merong free trial so just play with them pero yung nga lang kahit na makakuha ka ng live chat um, then Tingnan mo na lang din kung meron siyang WordPress plugin. Kung wala man siyang WordPress plugin, normally, meron siyang JavaScript po that you need to add on the website. So, kung naka-WordPress ka, then mag-add ka lang ng text or HTML widget, then do mo i-add yung widget, or i-edit mo yung team mo, um, punta ka lang doon sa team, tapos i-edit mo yung footer, tapos do mo ilagay sa footer code yung live chat. Alright? So, that's one way of doing it. I'm not so sure kung tinanggal ko na ba yung live chat. Tingnan ko lang ah, kung nandito pa yung live chat dun sa site ko. Tinanggal ko na yata. Let me check. Ito. Like, if you go to digitalfilipino.com slash certified, yan, ito yung live chat. Kaya lang, since I'm, on a, I'm in a webinar right now, hindi siya nako-online, no? Pero this is an example. Tapos, kung... Um, actually, ilan yung website ko na nakakabit yung live chat. Tapos pag hindi ako nako online, tapos meron nag-leave ng message, mapasok siya sa email, and then I can answer from there. Or if I am online, I will be able to receive uh, the live chat messages. So I would suggest checking out Clickdesk and Sopim if you want to sign, sign up for a free chat platform. Pero kung gusto nyo makagamit ka agad ng free, clickdesk.com uh, would be the way to go. All right. Uh, meron pa ba tayo? Okay. So I guess that's it, no? So if you wanna, if you wanna improve, you can check out the test that I shared to you earlier. Okay.
And then, uh, are there any more questions for this topic? Tungkol sa live chat jobs at paano makakakuha ng mga live chat jobs at ano yung mga test preparations that you can take para mag-qualify kayo for live chat jobs. If there are no more questions, kindly press the raise your hand button. All right. Thank you very much for joining.